Like, what about, do black shows have a silent asterisk next to it? No. Is that no, they don't, or no, we can't discuss it? It's a loaded question, Sydney. You're basically making a statement. Well, everything we ask is going to have some no, kind no, of no, intent no, no. behind it. I think it. we should stick to our strengths, okay, hun? I'm thinking of review. I'm sorry. We, what are our strengths? I'm getting there. Writer, so I'll take dialogue. Rose will do plot, and you judge character. Do you girls want anything to drink? Um, white wine, please. Okay. The usual. Mm -hmm. So, how are we going to distinguish ourselves from a population of podcasts, then? Mm. We stick to what we know. Uh, I know statements of intent. Yeah, well, it's not everyday rhetoric, sometimes introduction. All right. Rose, I think we really need your input here. Yeah, I think I agree with Adrian about focusing on the intro. But what better way to kick things off than by asking what everybody's thinking? Maybe. So can we start? No. Yes. Remember, I have experience in these things. Yes, we're very happy that you're verified on Twitter, but that does not make you right right now. What it does mean is I'm recognised for reaching audiences through brevity. People are tired of think pieces. People are tired of hearing social media experts start and end their sentences with, to be fair and not gonna lie. <laughs> what are you even asking? How are we going to stand out from the crowd and... Yeah, got that. Black shows, asterisk. What I'm asking is, are we seeing this new success of merit or protest? Does it matter? Yes, at least in the long run. But anything that gets in or behind the camera is a win-win for me. Look, don't get me wrong. I am happy with what's happening right now. In America. In America. So what's the problem? I just don't want us to be quota fillers. Just part of the cycle just because of race relations. Let me get this straight. You think all these incredible shows, movies, starring people of colour, are quota fillers? No. Look, my fear is the recent awards are an answer to protest and not based of actual taste. This topic is a non-starter for me. Insecure wasn't even nominated for an Emmy, so the protest couldn't have been that effective. In fact, that should be our angle. Three-dimensional black women in comedy and why Insecure should have been nominated. So yeah, Rose, we can go. What? I'm confused. Have we all agreed on how we're starting this or...? No. Yes. Look, we did agree before, but now the narrative has changed, apparently, so... I thought I was doing narrative. Haha. <laughs> but seriously... What I... you've got is a cool Twitter thread. It's cute, but maybe stay in one lane. And what's that supposed to mean? I think you should focus on character. Did you know outside of traditional family sitcoms there are no happy black women on TV? Probably not true, but too tired to check. See, that's why I don't want to do character profiles. It's tedious. Being happy doesn't create this dialogue you crave. People want to see people fall apart. But I can think of better ways of doing that than glorifying cheating. Ugh, that's the realest part of the show. It's very reflective of today and choice. Sure. But it's really important to see the guy and girl's perspective on cheating, yeah. Okay. That's the beauty of exploration. Or being a hoe. I've explored while being in a relationship. I'm exploring with someone who's in one now. Does that make me a hoe? I don't want to judge character. How about we do two quick one hour episodes and that way you can both get your points across? Mm. 
so exactly in this instance content isn't king mm -hmm. we need to try and redirect our audience towards a mobile friendly website exactly as soon as we can get that ball rolling it'll be fine <laughs> Of course. I mean, what has ever come wrong from using a mobile phone? Mm. So if we can round up the clients as soon as possible, that would be great. Okay, perfect. Okay, listen, let me, let me call you back later. Okay, okay. Sean, what are you doing here? Got a little bored. Decided to go where culture goes to die and uh, ended up here. Okay. Also, I thought it might be cool to go over as a social media campaign. Got beer. Sean, I don't drink beer. Cool. More for me. Listen, Sean. Tonight isn't the best night for this, okay? Me and Sydney want a quiet one in. You know? Sydney isn't home. She's at mine. Right. Perfect. But you, sir, are a genius. Rose is going to lose her mind when she sees this. <sighs> you know, I've never seen you this passionate about a client before. Check the testimonials, bruh. They will love me. <laughs> Does that mean they all get to sleep with you as well? Rewind, rewind. Come again? Level with me, Sean. Why is Rose doing a podcast with my girlfriend at your place? Okay, so Rose, my client, said she wanted a quiet space. I didn't expect for Adrian and Sydney to be added to the equation. Needless to say, I skedaddled early. Mm. The more the fun, the less the focus. I get it. Okay, I, I realise I have a reputation for having humanitarian for a dick. I get it. But me and Rose are strictly talent and agent relationship. That's it. Mm. Sure. Is this even about Rose? You know how much he means to Sydney. Obviously. And I'm more than grateful for the intro. I didn't ask that though. Things just look a little messy, considering everything that's gone on. Just doing my job. Kids are still off the table for you then? Uh, it's complicated. <laughs> that means no. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, but you didn't say yes either. Are you honest? You can tell me, I won't bite. I don't know, maybe it's the whole idea of speaking to something that's come out of your balls, I don't know. Uh, okay, you're actually <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm, well, sort of, but yeah. Kids for sure. But, just not right now. Okay, got it. See? No look, uh, no shouting, no knives. My head's blown. There's got to be a camera around here somewhere. Uh, hmm. Where? <laughs> <laughs> 
Your turn. Okay. What? Nothing. Nothing. So, uh, I'm just... I'm kind of curious why you never asked about my sexual partners. After I asked about yours. Not that I want to know now, but... Yeah. I guess... I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. You know, I've been there with Chanel and you were so cool about me having a girlfriend. I, I just didn't want to make you feel obliged to tell me about the past. I'm a cool guy. You are a cool guy. Like, literally, the only people who didn't judge me were you, Adrian, and Sydney. Oh, holier than now, Sydney. Oh. Don't take the mickey. <laughs> I'm not, she's good peoples. She is. And I know she's done a lot for you. She has. And I love that you still see Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how was the podcast? I've been meaning to listen, but I'm just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuses, excuses. It was good, actually. Those two, though. You know what it was like? Do you remember when you were a kid and your mum would be like, it's time to go home when you're at a party? You'd get all your things, and then you'd be at the door waiting, and she'd start talking to your auntie, and you'd just be there praying for the convo to end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was then. They went from talking about TV to cheating, and... My turn, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you ever cheated? What? Okay, no, don't. Wait. I mean... Have you ever cheated on me? No. You paused. Because I wasn't expecting that at all. We've what even made you say that? <laughs> We've no. been asking each other uncomfortable questions for the last 20 minutes. Yeah, but that was like way left field, like out of nowhere. Wait, what even made you say that? When? When? Rose. Can we just end this game? Please. What, was it my phone? Look, I was just in the WhatsApp group, see? Look! Just fucking tell me! It was right at the beginning. At a party. It was drinks, there was, was too many drinks. Was this something I did? No, no, no. I was drunk. I've got nothing. I was stupid. Can we... Rose. Please, don't. How long have we been seeing each other? What, like, eight months? Rose. But I didn't expect this even no. from you. I mean, who does that? Even at the beginning. You've got to be the biggest bullshit Rose, artist I, I, I who have done the this things this you've this done and say the things you've I said to me. I wasn't thinking. That's where I was wrong. Oh, that's where you were wrong. Just in the thinking part, yeah. <sighs> I'm not being honest. Please, just let me be honest. What's stopping you? It was four or five months ago, not the beginning. Rose. Rose. What are you doing to me, Sean? I'm so sorry. Rose, what are you doing? Rose, what's happening? More than once.
all at once. I was hungry, my appetite just, you know. I should have cooked. <laughs> I make tonight no more special than our other data adversaries. I can't allow that. I recall that you didn't like dinner on our first date, do you? <laughs> you loved it though. I still do. And that is why I cooked for you tonight. This is for you, Sydney. Always for you. I have a confession to make. I may or may not have had this meal at Lauren's birthday. What? Oh, sans the wine. Actually, the wine was included. Can't deny that. The way everyone was acting when the bill came, it was just... What happened? Some of us had wine, me. Mm -hmm. Some of us didn't. So apparently that means we can't split the bill. Mm. So it's just so embarrassing the way everyone pretends to know maths. Mm. They were still left with money over, you know? <laughs> Sounds like I dodged a bullet. Well, yeah, me and Adrian sorted it. It's the least she can do after she was late once again. You okay? Sorry. Yeah, no, no, I'm fine. Listen, Sydney. You know how much you mean to me. Sydney, leave it. No. Do you need anything to eat no, or you, drink? You, you can have mine. I'll get you some water. Listen, Sydney, can we can we talk? Take a seat. Serious, yes, I am. Tonight was supposed to be about me and you. How many nights do we get to spend with each other? And is that my fault or yours? Don't start this, Sydney. But it's true. Adrian and Sean, they get home early. I'm their superior. We both have different responsibilities. Look, I'm going to go to the ladies' room. Please do not make her feel like she's a stranger. Fine. I'll be back in five minutes, right? So, Rose, what would you like to do? Is that my phone? Does she know? There's nothing to know. You're a piece of shit. Rose, Rose, wait. How long has this been going on for? Nothing is going on. Don't bullshit me. We're way past that. You're fucking her friend. How long? Hmm? A few months. But, but I ended it. You sound just like him. You, Sean, her. It was a work party. We had too many drinks. Um... It got out of hand. Sean's involvement was just one time. Please. Rose. Tell her. I can't do that. You owe her. Listen, there are things in life that can't be explained that don't need to be Rose. It was a mistake. Let me keep this girl happy. No, it was a mistake. All I want to do is go back to what me and Sydney have, that's all. You've got to let her decide for herself. Tell her, or I will. Just leave it, Rose. I will handle it. No. Okay, okay, listen, listen.
Okay. It was a mistake. I promise you. I love that girl, Rose. God, I love that girl. And all I want to do is make her happy. So please, just allow me to. <laughs> 